Have you ever heard about infusion pump? Or syringe pump? Both of them can easily solve the control problem we have with IV bags. So let's start with infusion pump. It is a circulatory system that distributes oxygen and nutrients to the body very rapidly, and used for the delivery of medications, saline, nutrients, blood and other solutions. It can deliver large doses with a controlled rate, which the user can choose using the control panel, in which he can set the rate or the time of the operation, and let the computer inside do the hard work. It's also portable and can be moved anywhere, as it's battery powered. And it's easy to set up. You just need to put the tube line inside, and close its door. And it will start delivering medicine, by the peristaltic pump or volumetric pumps inside it. And these pumps uses worm movement to force the liquid to move. And that's how we solve the controlling problem. Infusion pumps also will detect any problem during the operation, and will fire an alarm for the doctor to notice. Like the occlusion alarm, which indicates that the tube is blocked and the air inline alarm which indicates that there are air bubbles in the tube. Infusion pumps allows many types of infusion. First, continuous infusion, which consists of small pulses of infusion, usually between 20 nanoliters and 100 microliters depending on the pump's design. And it is the type used in hospitals. And intermittent infusion, which is an infusion of a volume of medication over a set period of time, at prescribed intervals and then stopped until the next dose is required. Also, patient-controlled, or on-demand infusion, which is a pre-programmed infusion and the patient use it when he wants to have the dose. Now we knew about infusion pump, but they are commonly used when large doses is needed, and it is easier and preferable to use syringe pumps when the dose is small. So let's learn about it. Just like infusion pump, Syringe pump is a small positive displacement pump, used to gradually transfer precise volumes of fluid. Generally, syringe pump is made of four main elements, which are The pusher block which contacts the plunger to initiate flow Syringe clamps, which hold syringes in place during operation Release nut, which allows manual positioning of syringe pusher block Control panel that allows you to easily program flow rates and volumes. Syringe pump mechanism is easy, as all syringe pumps are all driven via a stepper motor, and a lead screw threaded through a pusher block, precisely turns the pump's stepper motor. This causes the pusher block to move. The fluid ejects at an accurate and precise rate during syringe pump mode, when the pusher block pushes against the plunger of a secured syringe. Brackets on the pusher block hold the plunger of the syringe for withdrawal capabilities, 